We come on the air with those city of Charlotte election results. Big headline, every incumbent running to keep their seat will do so. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Vanessa Rufus. And I'm Fred Shropshire. We want to dive right into those numbers tonight. First, Democratic Mayor Vi Lyles holds on to her position, handily staving off challenger Stephanie de Sarachaga Bilbo for Charlotte City Council at large seats. Incumbents Dimple Ajmir and Braxton Winston will keep theirs. And two familiar faces, James Mitchell and Lawana Slack Mayfield will get spots as well. Democrat Malcolm Graham will retain his seat on Charlotte City Council in the 2nd District. Republican Mary Leinberger Bar Barnett got less than 20% of the vote. In District 3, incumbent Democrat Victoria Watlington will keep her seat over James Bowers. And in the nail biter between Republican incumbent Tark Bakari and Democrat Stephanie Hand, Bakari edges it out with 51% of the vote. Now we got to mention pretty low turnout in tonight's city election, seeing about 72,000 Charlotteans voting. It's about 12% of registered voters. And we know people aren't used to voting in July. Remember, these elections got delayed due to a delay in U.S. Census data. WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman joins us live with more results and reaction from the candidates. Julia? Right. Well, Fred, Vanessa, those numbers you just described show Democrats are keeping their stronghold on Charlotte City Council. They filled all four at large seats, beating all Republican candidates. There are also Democratic council members in districts one through five, while Republicans hold on to districts six and seven. Democrats rejoiced Tuesday night as results trickled in from the 168 voting precincts. I think it tells us that the Democratic Party have a strong bench, uh, that we got individuals in our community that really cares about how Charlotte is growing and, and, and want to provide the leadership for our community. Mayor Vi Lyles won by a landslide, getting more than 49,000 votes, which was more than double her challenger's numbers. She says one of her top priorities going into this term is yet again affordable housing. I would hope that we would look at both the people that can't afford housing at all, but also those folks that can't afford to buy a home or to rent a home in our city. This new city council will have a shorter term than usual. Their election was pushed back due to the delay in receiving U.S. Census numbers. But that's not discouraging Lyles. Well, I think that we've got about 10 or 12 months to get something done. So I believe that this compressed schedule is giving us an opportunity to move forward progressively. Tuesday's outcome is not what Republican candidates and their supporters were hoping for. It's, it's really hard to be uh, in such a super minority as a Republican on this body. Councilman Tark Bakari wishes GOP candidates snagged at large seats, but is hoping to bring balance to the table. He beat his Democratic challenger by 377 votes. A lot of things where we disagree that I've got to do my best to strategize on and work behind the scenes and, and, and just kind of make sure that we have a little bit of balance. He says some of his priorities are public safety, support for law enforcement and single family zoning. Regardless of party, both sides say they're ready to tackle local issues together. The new city council will officially take over in early September. Live in Myers Park, Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte. All right, Julia, thank you for your reporting. And you can look through all local election results right now on WCNC Charlotte's news app. It's a free download on your phone or tablet.